हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दिस इज सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ कैम्ब्रिज प्राइमरी चेक पॉइंट मैथमेटिक्स पेपर वन ऑफ अक्टूबर 2019 टाइम टू फिनिश दिस इज 45 मिनट्स इन द फर्स्ट वीडियो वी कंप्लीटेड क्वेश्चन वन टू सिक्सटीन वी विल डू द रिमेनिंग क्वेश्चन इन दिस वीडियो इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल प्लीज डू सो एंड इफ यू हैव ऑलरेडी सब्सक्राइब थैंक यू सो मच गाइज so let's start so question 17 here are three probability statements number uh, a is when i throw a fair coin it will land on heads somebody will have birthday on 30th february i will uh, be older tomorrow write the letter for each statement in the correct place of the probability scale so this is the scale given to you with all the chances given no chances certain even and poor chances good chances so we need to place this a b c so we can start with the a right when you throw a coin so coin have head and tail so either it will get head or tail so probability of both will be half and half that means even chances so a will go here right we are done with a b somebody will have birthday on 30th february do you guys know that there is no 30th february so there are no chances because february is 29th and 28 days right now i i will be older tomorrow definitely if you are sorry i we have to put here b so definitely you are going to be older tomorrow so c will go here For certain event, right? Now, number eighteen. Draw a ring around two numbers in the grid to add up to ten. So we are looking for numbers that add up to ten. Uh, so if we choose the first one, it's eight. So eight plus two will give you ten, right? So we can see another one. Uh, this one with two, three point eight plus seven point two. Eight plus two ten. Seven plus three ten. It's eleven. So no, this cannot be. Uh, this is not our number. So we are left with only this one. So that means three point eight plus six point two. Eight plus two ten. Nine ten. So you will have this and this as your answer. Okay. Uh, yes. Now number nineteen. Calculate two point three. Plus six point seven eight, six point seven eight. So you should write down digit under the digit, and decimal should come des under the decimal. So two and six came on the left hand side to the whole part. So remaining we can fill with the zero, right? So this is eight plus zero is eight. Seven plus three is ten. One carry here. So six plus two is eight plus one nine. So nine point zero eight. Okay, so let's move to next one. Question number twenty. For each number in the table, write a factor that is between four and ten. Factors between four and ten of forty-five. So factors of forty-five are like the number that divides forty-five is one. Then it will be five, fifteen, and forty-five. Right. So between four and ten. Between four and ten means it will be five. uh there may be another one so let's do this way so 1 times 45 gives you 45 so that we don't miss any number 2 is not it's not divisible by 2 3 times 15 is 45 and then 4 is not there 5 a 5 times uh 9 is 45 That's it. So we have here numbers between five and nine. We have two factors here, five or nine. He said, write a factor. So we can write on or there. For the forty-nine, so for forty-nine we have here one times forty-nine, two times is not three times. There is another only one factor. Seven times seven is forty-nine. So we have only one number between four and seven. That will be seven. Now fifty-four for the fifty-four. It's one times fifty-four is fifty-four. 
टू टाइम्स ट्वेंटी सेवन इज़ फिफ्टी फोर थ्री टाइम्स थ्री वन एटीन इज़ फिफ्टी फोर फोर इज़ नॉट डिविजिबल फाइव सिक्स सिक्स टाइम्स नाइन इज़ फिफ्टी फोर राइट सो द फैक्टर्स दैट वी हैव दीज आर द फैक्टर्स सो बिटवीन फोर एंड टेन इज सिक्स नाइन एंड दिस इज ग्रेटर सो सिक्स एंड नाइन सिक्स और नाइन राइट नाउ नंबर ट्वेंटी वन हेयर इज अ इरेगुलर शेप ड्रॉन ऑन द ग्रेड ऑफ स्क्वायर एस्टिमेट द एरिया ऑफ द शेप सो एरिया वी आर काउंटिंग द नंबर ऑफ स्क्वायर विच आर फुल एंड मोर देन हाफ सो दिस इज मोर देन हाफ वी विल काउंट इट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन एंड टेन सो दिस वी हैव टेन एंड वी हैव दिस इज वन फोर्थ वी कैन से एस्टिमेट द एरिया सो दिस इज वन फोर्थ टेन फुल एंड a half so you may have 10 1 over 4 squares question 22 blessy has some identical square tiles you can see we have this square here uh, by 6 cm uh, she uses these three of these square tiles to make a rectangle Uh, what is the area of this rectangle now you see this is 6 6 all around so area of one tile is 6 times 6 which is 36 and we have three such tiles so times 3 6 times 3 18 3 times 3 9 and 10 108 cm okay number 23 Complete the table to show the equivalent measurements. The first one has been done for you. Uh, so we have to fill these gaps. Meter to centimeter. So times hundred. Now kilogram to grams. So we are going to times it by thousand, right? Because we have uh, this uh, times one thousand. So it will be three. One six five three zeros because one kilogram is equal to one thousand grams, and one two three decimal places one two three decimal. These will go, so you will left with three one six five. Okay, so liters to milliliters. So again, we are going to multiply here one thousand because one liter equals to one thousand milliliters. One kilogram is equal to one thousand grams. So when you multiply, it will become four two, then one two three zeros. One decimal place is gone. So you have four thousand and two hundred milliliters, right? Uh, so two hundred and seventy millimeters. So one centimeter is equal to ten millimeters. So we are going this way. So we will divide it by ten, which is twenty-seven point three centimeters. Here is a bag of hundred coins. The mass of each coin is two point two six eight grams, right? What is the mass of hundred coins? So each coin is hundred two point two six eight grams. So we are looking for the mass of hundred coins. So that means we are just going to multiply this by hundred two point two six eight times hundred. So whenever you multiply by hundred, you need not to put zero zero. Don't do actual division. So because this is one, so it will be two two six eight. Then two zeros down there. So one two three decimal places. Start counting from right hand side. One two three decimal places. So final answer is two hundred and twenty six point eight. Okay. Now number twenty five. find the range of these numbers now what is range you know that the formula range is maximum value minus the minimum so which one is maximum here uh 60 and minimum is 5 60 minus 5 it is 55 so our final answer is 55 question number 26 Here is one side of the rectangle on the coordinate grid. You can see this side. 
a third vertex of the rectangle is that 3 1 uh, plot point 3 1 on the grid so 3 x this is for x and this is for y 3 1 so this is the point uh, the third vertex 1 to the third one right so first part is done uh, what is the coordinate of the fourth vertex of the rectangle so now we are looking for the fourth vertex so it should have the same length as you know that the rectangle should have same length so we can just use our ruler here so you can see if we place this ruler here so it's almost 5.4 right so i place it here 5.4 and it should be parallel to this so you can use your ruler to make this parallel so 5.4 it should be coming here so negative 2 and negative 4 when you join this one it will be a rectangle right so we have to write down the fourth vertex so fourth vertex we are going to write down first the value of x which is negative 2 and negative 4 so our answer will be negative 2 and negative 4 now question 27 this is about number facts so you are given some number facts here so what are the number facts you know they give you some calculations and you are using those calculations but you are not doing your own calculation you have to just use the given calculations so these are the calculations that are given to us use these facts to calculate 13 times 17 so we are going to use this information you must show your answer and how you worked it out so like it is 13 times 17 right so we have all around here 17 you can see that so we can split this 13 17 will remain like that so 13 can be written as like 8 plus 4 is 12 uh, 12 plus 1 is 3 so we can use this this and the first one so i can write down 1 plus 4 plus 8 so which is 13 right so if you open that one so it will become 1 times 17 plus because 17 will be multiplied to all of them plus 4 times 17 plus 8 times 17 so 1 times 17 is 17 4 times 17 is 68 8 times 17 is 136 so when you add this one so it is 221 right so this is the explanation that should go here so we can write it down down here like 13 times 17 uh, can be written as 1 times uh, 17 plus 4 times 17 plus 8 times 17 that means 17 plus 68 plus 136 is 221 i hope you understood now number 28 as a sequence starts at 4.5 and decreases by 0 0.25 each time write down a term in this sequence that is between 1 and 0 right so uh, we are writing a num uh, term which is between 1 and 0 so 4 you see it starts at 4.5 by decreasing minus 0 0.25 minus 0 0.25 here also minus 0 0.25 minus 0 0.25 so now 3.5 3.5 minus 0 0.25 it will be uh, for 3.25 right but we will reach up to between 1 and 0 okay so now after this 3.25 minus again 0 0.25 so this will be 3.00 so 3.00 minus 0 0.25 continue like that you see that uh, there is a pattern going on so it's easy 5 7 2.75 2.75 minus 0 0.25 See, after 2.50 it will be 2.25 right then after that it should be 2 then it should be 1.75 1 1.50 1 1.25 then 1 then it will be 0 0.75 0 0.5 
zero point two five. You can see there is a pattern going on. So now we are looking for a number which is between this. So uh, in between this we have zero uh, all these three numbers. So we can write down any one of them. I can write down zero point seven five here. Right, write down the first negative number in this sequence. First negative number, like we ended up here uh, at 0.25. I can start again from here 0.25, then it will be 0, then next will be 0.25 again. So, final answer will be 0.25. Okay, question 29. As you can see, there is a graph here. Uh, Gabriela travels to Denmark. The graph shows how many Danish krone uh, she get for her American dollar. Uh, so this is the conversion graph given to us. We have American dollars this side and Danish currencies this side. How many uh, krones does she get for dollar twenty? So dollar twenty. We don't have dollar twenty here on the grid. So we can just use the ratio method here. Uh, so uh, as you can see I can choose any let's say 10 okay if we I think this will be easy for $10 she's getting dollar 10 is equivalent to 65 Danish I will write down key are here so we are looking for dollar 20 will be how much right so just cross multiply so x times 10 equals to 65 times 20 so divide by 10 divide by 10 this 10 is gone this 0 is gone 65 times 2 is uh, 5 times 2 10 6 times 2 it will be 12 and 30 so 130 so that's it for number 29 now let's move to ne uh, next question number 30. Anesthesia buys 6 oranges. She pays with $10 note. She receives 7.36 change. Uh, what is the cost of 1 orange? She buys 6 oranges, right? Uh, she pays this 10 note. So she pays $10. 0 0.00 and she receives 7.36 right so let's subtract uh, 4 9 minus 36 it's 2.64 so she spent dollar 2.64 for 6 oranges so let's divide it by 6 to get the cost of 1 orange so 6.2.64 divided by 6 times because we have decimal here so 24 24 so answer is 0 0.44 or you can say 44 cents when you multiply here by 100 it will become 4400 decimal is here 44 cents got it now number 31 this is the last question of this paper so i hope you guys understood everything if there is anything let me know in the comment section and please if you like the video please press the like button and share it with your friends so number 31 Chen says one third is equal to one over three is he correct so one third one third means like uh, one divided by three right so when you divide one by three so you have because this is less than three so you need to put zero here so decimal then we'll put 0 here. 3 times 3 is 9. 1. Because there is remainder 1. Then again 0. 3.3. 9. And so on. If you see, we will get every time 1 there. So that means its answer should be uh, 0 0.3. 333 three, three, like this but not exactly uh, 0 0.3 so what we are going to tick here we are going to tick no because we are not given any estimation we need exact answer so explain your answer we will write down because 1 over 3 is equal to 0 0.333 three, three. so that's not which is not which is not 
equal to 0 0.3 so that's it for this paper thank you so much for watching god bless you guys and good luck for your coming exam thank you so much